Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing a 2002 Suburban backup camera. In this install, we're going to show you how to mount the camera at the license plate and run all the cables to get it connected to an aftermarket radio. Let's get started. For our install today, the camera kit that we're going to go with is by WordCam. It's a full license plate mountable camera. So we get this open here. First thing that comes in the kit that we're installing here today is a video wire. Essentially here this carries the video signal from the camera itself all the way up to the radio. Also comes with a power harness for the camera, some instructions, Allen wrench to adjust the angle of the camera, and the camera itself. Now this is the camera it comes with in a full license plate. The nice thing is this thing is heavy duty, it's aluminum. And again, there's two Allen head screws there that allow you to adjust the pitch of the camera to so you can get it spot on based on the height of your car. Now here on the camera itself has two outputs, has your camera power harness, which this end goes into, and has your video harness. Output of the video goes through the cable into the input of the radio that goes to the other end. And again, it has this inline red wire. Now one end of this power wire, we're gonna to connect to the positive wire on a reverse light. And then the other end, we're gonna connect into a radio's trigger wire. It'll trigger the radio to go to the reverse camera mode when that light is on. So that's our plan here. And then just so we can use our camera, also when not in motion, we're gonna connect this into an accessory power source back behind the radio. Without further ado, what we're going to do is head back to the truck, get this mounted in the license plate spot, and start running our wire from the license plate area all the way up to the dash. Okay, so we went ahead and prepped our harness here. Now again, we plugged in our plugs to the camera, because this will be mounted in the back, and this will be run forward. Ground of our camera will ground at the reverse light with this black wire. Ground goes through all this. Power for the camera goes into our white wire, which will go all the way to the front of the car. We just extended that with a heavier gauge wire. Now for our video plug, video will go along with our accessory wire and the trigger wire for the radio. I looped it in with our ground for our camera and that goes to the tail light. So again, ground for the camera, trigger wire for our radio. And on this one, that'll run forward is our video wire that includes the trigger wire built in that'll go up to the radio and then accessory power for our camera. So we're gonna loom all this, get it all buttoned up and then we'll head over to the car and start getting it installed. Okay, so we got the camera all connected up. Just need to put the plate back in the frame, show you what it looks like underneath. So that's where it comes out of the plate. We gotta still cover these connections, but we'll put some uh, half inch heat shrink on those. Then our video wire goes up into this body and we'll show you where it comes through. And then our trigger wire, as well as our ground for a camera, goes over here and up and you saw where it connects. So 
So we've got this all back together. We've got the grommet back in and all our wiring run and tucked. All right, so at this point in time, we have the radio out of the dash so we can hook up our cables. Now on our main power harness for a radio, for a Pioneer, there's a purple white wire, which it's hanging out there. That's our trigger wire. And so we hooked our, um, the little red lead that went all the way back to our reverse light positive. We hooked it into that trigger wire. Now remember this white one is our power wire for the camera. It's just an extended accessory wire because we want to put this on switch power so you can use it more than just in reverse. We hook that into our, our wiring harness accessory wire, which is our red wire, just teed that in there. And so when the truck is on, the radio is on, this the camera will be also receiving power. So we just ran that in parallel with the red wire of our wiring harness. You can kind of see that red wire there. You gotta remember that this is our video wire. It was a little short, so we added um, another six foot um, RCA and added a coupler to it. And we'll show you what that looks like, but that just extended the wire, so it's a little bit longer. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our RCA video wire and get our radio back in the dash. Okay, so we got our radio back in. Now we just need to put the trim panel back in, but essentially we got everything hooked up and our radio slid back in. What we're gonna do at this point is make sure everything is set up in our settings for our camera. So we're gonna go to camera settings here. We're gonna make sure camera is on, set the battery. You can turn on your parking assist on or off and adjust the guidelines. Essentially that's it. We gotta make sure that's good. So at this point, let's go ahead and put it in reverse. There we are, out of reverse, perfect. Now, since we hooked it up to accessory, camera should still be on even though we're not seeing it. So if we go to our camera, there we are, even not in reverse, which is awesome. So at this point in time, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and put the trim back around the radio. Okay, radio's all back in. That is it. If you have any questions on what we did here, post a comment below. Now, of course, we didn't show how to remove or install the radio because we have multiple videos here on the channel that shows you how to do that. And we'll link those down in the description for you. Be sure to hit that like button if you like what you saw and subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time and we will see you in the next video.